I signed up for a goddamn engineering exam. I want a goddamn engineering exam. I don't want to do some coding debugging for these computer science nerds. <sighs> but we'll get to this problem anyway. So what what is going to be the conclusion of this goddamn loop, separate team? What, what is it going to be? Well, let's start off from the beginning. We're going to say var equals zero. That's our var equals zero. That's our initial point. It says if the var is less than eight, then var equals var plus two. Now, that may be a a algebraically incongruent uh, nonsense, uh, like the sentence that I just said, but what this is saying, we're gonna replace the variable after we add a two to it, if it's less than eight. So, it is, so the var is zero currently, and we're gonna add two to it because it's less than eight. So we're gonna get that to two. And it says exit loop. All right, we're gonna exit the loop and go to the next line. Oh, it tells me to loop it again. So I'm gonna go straight to the loop and say, is two less than eight? Well. I think so. Uh, so we're gonna add to it again. So we're gonna do four exit loop. Go go do it again. It's less than eight. Of course it is. So it's gonna go to six, and then we're gonna add two again because six is less than eight. So we're gonna go to eight. Now we're gonna loop back, and now we're gonna ask a, a, a philosophical question: Is eight less than eight? Hmm. I've been stuck on a problem like this back in uh, 1922 when I was rubbing elbows with Leibniz and Isaac at a pub back in Ireland. Man, it was crazy. And they were showing me some curves, you know. <laughs> not not Isaac, but, or, Leib I mean, like, they were, never mind. Uh, eight is not less than eight. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Eight is not less than eight. That's not possible. Uh, that's like saying four is equal to 16 minus eight. Hopefully that's not four. Uh, anyway, uh, eight equals eight plus two. So we're going to loop this thing again. We're going to get 10. Now, is 10 less than eight? Well, some of you may think so, but it's not, unfortunately. So our final answer after the subroutine is done doing its goddamn thing, we're going to say it's going to equal 10. And let me tell you, this is probably the easiest, simplest computer program you'll see in your existence. Um, and that is probably a fact.